Continuing now with slide 7, we're discussing epithelial tissue, the first of the four major types of tissue. Epithelial can be thought of as sheets, and so when you really think about it, it's very similar to skin on the outside of your body, or perhaps the lining of your mouth, the soft epithelial tissue inside there. And if I were to hold up a sheet of paper towel, or a sheet of paper, for example, um, like this envelope, you can see the thinness of it. That's how we would like you to think about epithelial tissue in sheets. It does the following things that you can see here, protection, absorption, etc. And there are certain characteristics or traits that all epithelial tissue has in common. A trait or a characteristic is something that we know to be true about somebody or something. For example, if you said, what are the traits of Mrs. Lanou? Well, if you know me and you're one of my students, you'd probably say, well, she's very tall. Or, hmm, she's very energetic. So these are characteristics of just epithelial tissue. Polar, that means that you have a free surface, like on the back of your hand, that you could grab a hold of and pull up. But the bottom of it is anchored to the connected tissue below. So you would not be able to pull the attached base surface up on your hand, for example. Most of the epithelial tissue fits together in sheets, just like we mentioned. It is supported by connective tissue, so under your face, for example, your beautiful cheeks, the skin is supported by fat and connective tissue. Sometimes when people age, they think that their skin is sagging, but most of the time they've lost fat and then the skin just hangs because it doesn't have anything to connect or help it be supported. It's avascular also, which is another trait. A in front of anything in science means without. So this literally would mean without blood vessels. Vascular refers to vessels. But it does have lots of nerves. And look at this root word, N-E-R-V. So it means it has nerves, nerve. And finally, a characteristic of this tissue is that it grows quickly. It's very, very fast to regenerate and to grow. There are three types of epithelial tissue. Squamous, which is flat and circular. Cuboidal, which is like a cube, very box-like. And columnar, which is tall and column-shaped, like the columns on the front porch of a house. Epithelial tissue also grows in either simple layers or stratified layers. And it's easy to think about it when you think about something like this, for example, where we have a single layer dessert. It's just one layer. It's a cookie, although it looks really good. But nonetheless, it's one layer. But check out this dessert. It's stratified. Look at all the different layers. Strawberries, whipped cream, cake, more strawberries. Oh boy, wow, right? That's just like memorable. So that would be stratified, for example. And that is how different epithelial tissues grow either in sheets like that or um, in layers. Now it's time for you to do an activity and this activity is found under lanu.webstarts.com practice activities click chapter 4 and up will come a worksheet that you can begin working on and we'd like you to do that now.